When it comes to digital card games, it's very easy for the developers of the game to design a card that is super interesting and has a crazy mechanic without really thinking what it's going to do to the game. Sometimes when you make a new card and it's added to the game, it makes a brand new interaction that has never been seen before that can just break a card game. And Hearthstone is no exception to this. When Hearthstone was being designed, it was the first main digital card game that they were able to try a bunch of new mechanics because, well, it's a digital card game. While designing the game, they made a minion that completely broke the game's rules that, well, as you can probably guess, broke Hearthstone. Before we get into what the card actually is, we first have to identify what the rules of Hearthstone are. To win a game of Hearthstone, it's very simple. You want to get your opponent's life to zero. If they're at zero, they die. One player gets to go first, and you cannot interact on your opponent's turn whatsoever. In other words, you can only play cards on your turn. If it's your opponent's turn, you have to wait and see what they do. Each player has a specific amount of time on their turn. During each player's turn, the player is allowed to play as many cards as possible until the turn timer runs out. But this does not include animation time. For instance, if I play a card at the very last second, the animation still has to resolve for both players, meaning that it technically goes above the turn limit. This means the player who goes next still has to sit and watch all the animations resolve itself before they can actually do their turn, even though it is their turn. To compensate the animation problem, Blizzard added something into the game known as the slush time. This is extra time given to the player to compensate for the amount of animations that they still need to resolve on their client. However, the slush time does not always fully account for the entire length of animations. When I mention that a card breaks a card game, I'm not talking in the ways that the client crashes or you get network errors. I'm talking about the core mechanics of the game getting broken. And that's exactly why a card like Nos Dormu breaks the game. Nos Dormu's effect is players only have 15 seconds to take their turns. Now, for a lot of players, they probably thought Nos Dormu was a very harmless card. In fact, this card was released with Hearthstone all the way back in 2014. And in most situations, the card was completely harmless. All it was doing was just limiting the amount of time you had to make decisions and play cards from your hand. But this was only the case for Hearthstone Classic. As you can imagine, with new expansions coming out and new cards being added, there will be more interactions with a card like Nas Dormu that have the potential to break a game of Hearthstone. See, the thing about Nas Dormu is that it only sets your turn timer to 15 seconds. It does not account for the amount of time an animation can take. And if your opponent is waiting for an animation to resolve, as their turn timer is going down, we have a card that breaks the game. With the release of Black Rock Mountain, their second adventure, which mainly focused on the single player aspect of the game, one of the bosses, High Justice Grimstone, had the ability to summon Nas Dormu. And the effect was, well, let's watch. Oops, out of time. There's only him. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. I mean, it's time to think. Let us... I hate Blizzard for making that card. For the skeleton in a dress, Blood Mage Falno! He's taken far more than 15 seconds. This is just so dumb. What the hell? That was not 15 seconds! Blizzard, please! Blizzard! I got literally less than half a second because he wouldn't stop talking. Blizzard! Come on, Blizzard! Why are you doing this to me? Every time. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Wait, did I get right this time? No! I got two seconds! As you can see, the player was not able to play any cards, but because the bot's turns are instantaneous, they were able to play as many cards as needed until their turn was finished. Blizzard did the correct thing to hotfix this bug as fast as possible so more players would not have to deal with this issue, but this bug persisted past the hotfix. Even though the issue with Nas Dormo was a big problem in terms of solo adventures, Nas Dormo's problems were only starting to begin. Once players realized that using Nas Dormo, you could skip your entire opponent's turn, things got a little bit messy. In almost every single competitive game, if you can find an advantage over your opponents, you're gonna use it to make sure that you can win. And some players will use an exploit like Nas Dormu. First, we'll start off with the game mode Tavern Brawl. Tavern Brawl is just like regular Hearthstone going against another player, but usually the game mode is a little bit wonky and fun because they usually try something unique compared to just regular Hearthstone. This specific Tavern Brawl had both players playing an iconic character in Warcraft lore, and this happened. Just in time. 
Oh, come on, that was not 15 seconds. What a rip. Okay. Can I attack or what? What? In terms of tavern brawls, this one was definitely special because you're playing with two unique classes that are not in any other game modes, but the Nas Dormu problem still persisted across other tavern brawls. Oh god, it's so hard to do anything. I don't think he did anything. Wait, what? How is he still playing? Fair. Where'd my turn go? Even though Nazdorma was a problem in Hearthstone, it wasn't a huge problem. There was much bigger problems that the developers had to worry about, so this kind of went to the wayside. That was until they released their next expansion, the Grand Tournament. The Grand Tournament introduced a brand new mechanic into Hearthstone. This mechanic was known as Jousting. For every single Hearthstone card, there is a mana cost associated with that card. The higher the number, the more mana it costs to play. The way that Jousting worked is that each player would draw a card from their deck. If the card that you drew had a higher mana cost than your opponents, you would win that joust. As you could probably imagine, the jousting mechanic took a very long time to resolve, which means that players could exploit the jousting mechanic with Nas Dormu. Let's see if I can do this. That didn't work so well. Oh, good enough, I guess. Alright, do we have any other joust thing here? Did we do it? Oh, cool. I think we did it. I think we did it. That's, that's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Because of the jousting mechanic, players started to learn that with longer animations, it's much easier to skip your opponent's turn with Nas Dormu. And the main way to skip your opponent's turn became using Youthful Brewmaster. Youthful Brewmaster had the effect when played to return a friendly minion from the battlefield to your hand. This animation took a very long time because not only did you have to play the card, but you had to bounce the minion back to your hand. If you had two Brewmasters and you were very quick at playing them, you were able to skip some of the animation on your client. But for for your opponent, they would still have to watch the entire animation. Blizzard was a lot faster to react to this issue. As more players than ever were using Nas Dorma to skip their opponent's turn, Blizzard released a hotfix on September 3rd, 2015, about two weeks after the Grand Tournament was released. The hotfix was that Nas Dormu no longer interacts with the animations of Joust and Youthful Brewmaster in a manner as to allow portions of the player's turn to be skipped. Blizzard helped the issue of players griefing other players with Nas Dormu, but they did not solve all the issues with this card. There was still a bunch more. turned out that Blizzard only hotfixed the animations between players, but there was still a bunch of interactions in the game that were causing quite significant issues with Nas Dormu. The very next expansion, the League of Explorers, we were introduced to a brand new card that virtually stopped your opponent from playing the game with Nas Dormu. The idea was to play Nas Dormu and play two Curse of Reforms, which add a curse card to your opponent's hand. Because the curse cards animation and effect resolve on your 
your opponent's turn. This would skip their entire turn for the rest of the game and they couldn't play a single card. Come on, come on. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Come on, come on, come on. Please work. Please work. Uh, he's trying to play a card. He's trying to play a card, but he can't. <gasps> Is this actually working? There was also a lot of visual bugs with Nas Dormo, with the main one being that his effect could be multiplied on screen where you literally couldn't even see the game anymore. Even though Blizzard did end up solving a lot of the problems throughout the years, that doesn't mean with more cards being added to the game, there's still going to be other issues with Nas Dormo. But there's also the competitive aspect of this card. One of the biggest appeals for Hearthstone is random generation. There are a bunch of cards in this game that randomly generate another card for you to play with within the same match, even though it's not in your deck and this happens to be the case also in competitive and since Nas Dormo is considered to be a bad card it's never put into someone's actual deck the only way we could see it in a competitive match is if it's randomly generated and the problem with this is that most players who compete in competitive Hearthstone don't play with a 15 second turn timer because they want to make the most optimal play every single turn which means when this card is randomly generated in a competitive match it's breaking the game in the sense that well Players don't really know what to do. You don't always have the option to kill off your own lore rocker Cho, but mm. they do. Oh, so they can kind of control. Oh my god, this is the anti life coach. <laughs> oh card. my god, life coach is going to lose this game. Now, the reason why I bring up competitive Hearthstone is because during one expansion, Ascent of Dragons, there was a very powerful card that people put into their deck that had a very good random effect. This card was Ysera Unleash, which had the effect to shuffle seven dream portals into your deck, and when they are drawn, you summon a random dragon. As you could probably guess, Nas Dormu is a dragon, and when Nas as Dora was summoned by one of these dream portals, the entire opponent's turn would be skipped. Just in time. That's incredible. Blizzard decided to take Nas Dormo out of the summoning pool for dream portals and fortunately for the developers, this was the last time that Nas Dormo caused a problem. Later, he was rotated into the legacy format, meaning he was no longer in the main popular formats of Hearthstone, where he would never be able to cause another problem with a new card or just a game breaking bug ever again. With that being said, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you did end up enjoying it, I would really appreciate a subscription and a like, and I hope you have a great day.